Welcome to Travel Sponge. Today we are going to explore 20 of the most vibrant, alluring destinations that Asia has to offer. With travel opening back up, Asia is a prime spot for any traveler. Help the community out. If you have been to an Asian city that you would like to recommend others travel to, let us know in the comments below. A city that you have to visit is Taipei City, Taiwan. An interesting fact about Taipei City that you probably didn't know is that it's the second richest city per capita in Asia. Over 1,500 Taipei residents have at least $30 million in assets. Some of the tallest buildings in the world are based here. For instance, Taipei 101 stands at 1,671 feet tall, or 509 meters. This puts it at the 11th tallest building on the planet. Taipei is one of the cleanest cities that you can visit. A government initiative that started in 1997 made a tenacious push to have a spotless city. Cleanliness is a bit of a show in the city as the sanitation trucks play Beethoven from their loudspeaker as they happily navigate the streets. A must-see city is Manila, located in the Philippines. This bustling capital city is packed with life. It is actually the most densely populated city on earth at 107,000 people per square mile or 41,500 people per square kilometer. For comparison, New York City's population density is only about a fourth of this. The Philippines is often rated as home to some of the most friendly people in the world. Resorts and other accommodations in Manila are often very affordable. While traversing the city, you're going to notice some very unique vehicles called jeepneys. After World War II, the U.S. military left many Willys Jeeps in the Philippines. The locals chopped, extended, and painted these vehicles for use as public transportation. The vivid paint jobs on these buses are a prominent symbol of Filipino culture and art. Enjoy the tropical beauty of Chiang Mai, Thailand. This city is home to numerous sanctuaries for Asian elephants. While visiting, you can feed, bathe, and even swim with these animals. Asian elephants are a bit smaller than their African counterparts, and most of them don't have tusks. If you visit Chiang Mai in November, then you might be able to catch the Yi Pang Lantern Festival. Thousands of lanterns illuminate the night sky. These lanterns are even made more spectacular as the festival takes place during a full moon. After the festival, you can visit majestic Wat Bon Den Temple. It is renowned as one of the most beautiful temples in all of Asia. The fierce array of colors and exquisite craftsmanship will be sure to astound you. Construction began all the way back in 1894, and it continues until this day. Many locals contribute to the ongoing construction of the temple. The diversity of their backgrounds and beliefs show through the varying aspects of the temple. There is no better city to bring together the traditional architecture and culture of Japan than Kyoto. You will find that it is home to beautiful temples and the widely revered geishas. These women are performers of dance, singing, and other forms of music. They are also skilled as conversationalists and as hosts. Kyoto is also home to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. The bamboo is extremely tall and there are many paths throughout the forest that you can take. You can enjoy the rustling sounds of the bamboo while the wind pushes through the foliage. These sounds have been named one of the top 100 soundscapes of Japan. The forest is also open 24 hours a day and there are no admission fees. Malaysia's capital city, Kuala Lumpur, is a tourist hotspot. The most iconic buildings in the city are the Petronas Twin Towers. They soar above the city at 88 stories tall and are connected by a double-decker sky bridge at the 41st and 42nd floors. A visit to Kuala Lumpur isn't complete without a visit to the Batu Caves. A 100-year-old temple is carved into the limestone hill, which is believed to be 400 million years old. There is evidence that a group of indigenous people called the Timoans regularly sought shelter in these caves thousands of years ago. 
the caves have become a site of pilgrimage for Hindus throughout the world, Kuala Lumpur is also known for its nightlife. There are several swanky rooftop bars to choose from, but before you go out for the night of celebration, you can enjoy the delicious food at the vendor stalls lining the streets. If you are ready to get your K-pop on, then book your tickets to Seoul, South Korea. Seoul is known for its impressive architecture and delicious street food. If you enjoy rich history, then Gyeongbokgung Palace will definitely leave you in awe. It was constructed in 1395 by King Taejo. Next, you can take in 360-degree panoramic views of the city from the North Seoul Tower, which stands at 777 feet or 237 meters tall. The tower is located on Nonsa Mountain, which is already the highest natural point in Seoul. The title of the tallest building on the Korean Peninsula, however, is the Lot World Tower, which stands at 1,820 feet or 555 meters tall. This skyscraper contains a movie theater, concert venue, and an aquarium. If you're enjoying the views and you want to enjoy a prolonged stay, there are hotel accommodations inside the tower. Just imagine waking up on the 90th floor to the beautiful Korean sunrise. Suzhou, China is known as the Venice of the East. The water towns are a strong attraction for this city. You can actually traverse the waterways to get to the various businesses and attractions throughout the area. As you travel through the canals, you'll notice the quaint bridges and stone enveloped walls. One of China's largest museums is in this city and it hosts more than 15,000 pieces. If you're a silk fan, then you're in luck. This is the silk production hub for the entire country. Suzhou is also a very prominent location to showcase China's impressive gardens. For optimal weather, visit between April and September. While the city has no airport, you can arrive in Shanghai and take a quick bullet train. The trip will take a little over half an hour. Hanoi, Vietnam is one of the cheapest modern Asian cities that you can visit. A beer will only cost you 21 cents US or 18 cents in euros. The houses here will look very peculiar to most foreigners. They can be very tall but are often quite narrow. This is because property taxes are not based on the square footage of the home but on the width. The houses are referred to as tube houses. These taxes were put into place by the French in the 19th century. While Hanoi has its own traditional beauty, it also does host some classic French colonial architecture. There is also a bridge here that was designed by the same man that designed the Eiffel Tower. Aside from French architecture, Hanoi holds its own natural beauty. Hanoi does mean city of lakes. Several rivers that run throughout the city form lakes within the city borders. If you're feeling a bit more adventurous and you prefer a more unique travel experience, you can visit Pyongyang, North Korea. It's a common misconception that tourists aren't allowed to visit. With a few exceptions, the country typically only denies entry to South Korean citizens and members of the media. The largest stadium in the world is located here. Built in 1989, Rengrado First of May Stadium holds an astounding 114,000 attendees. While the stadium hosts some sporting events, it mostly holds festivals and artistic performances. While driving throughout the city, you will notice that instead of having traffic lights, there are traffic ladies. It is said that these ladies are chosen based off of their attractiveness. The Ruyang Hotel is the tallest unoccupied building in the world, standing at 1,082 feet or 330 meters. It is a product of the Cold War between the United States and the USSR. With the rapid growth of South Korea, the USSR-backed North Korea wanted to display its architectural might. While construction began in 1987, it started and stopped many times throughout the decades. While now the interior is reportedly said to be finished, the hotel still isn't open until this day. Beijing is the second most populated city in China behind Shanghai. The population of 22 million is almost as much as the entire population of the country of Australia. 
There is a rich history in China's capital city as it's over 3,000 years old. It has been the capital city of China on six different occasions. You will have plenty to do here as Beijing is home to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This includes the Forbidden City, Summer Palace, and the Temple of Heaven. The Forbidden City is the world's largest imperial palace. Exploring the wonders of this city can occupy several days due to its massive size. It's nearly twice as large as the Vatican and it consists of 90 palace courtyards and quarters. This city was home to 24 emperors over hundreds of years. The Palace Museum is considered one of the best museums in the world. It holds paintings, ancient books, jade, and the beautiful calligraphy that China is known for. While tourists can indeed visit the Forbidden City, 40% of the area is still off limits for viewing. To take in the vastness of the city, visit Jingshan Park. It is located on a hill and offers a great view of the land. Bangkok, Thailand is the most visited city on earth with more than 20 million annual tourists. Many tourists take advantage of the famous Thai massages here. You will be in good hands as Bangkok is considered the massage capital of the world. After enjoying your Thai massage, you can visit one of the hundreds of Buddhist temples that the city has to offer. A notable Buddhist site is the Reclining Buddha. It's a must for any Bangkok traveler. Its dimensions are very impressive at 49 feet or 15 meters tall and 150 feet long or 46 meters. If you enjoy a more laid back activity, then you can visit Lumpini Park. It's a relaxing natural landscape in stark contrast to the bustling city streets. You can rent paddle boats, practice your Tai Chi, or just unwind in one of the plentiful park benches while you take in the scenery around you. Tokyo, Japan is a bustling metropolis with an abundance of offerings for any traveler. It has more Michelin star restaurants than any other city in the world at 226. From top tier sushi to tempura, Tokyo has you covered. Between meals, you'll have no problems traversing the city. The train system is robust with Shinjuku Station being the busiest in the world. It has an estimated 3.5 million commuters every day. Tokyo is also home to some truly impressive towers. Tokyo Tower stands at 1,092 feet or 332 meters. The lighting on this tower changes with the seasons and natural events. It is divided into three tiers. At the base, there are restaurants and souvenir shops. The main observatory is halfway up the tower, but for a truly spectacular view, ascend to the special observatory at 820 feet or 250 meters into the sky. The Eiffel Tower was an inspiration behind the structure's design. Mumbai is the richest city in all of India. While the wealth here is notable, the city is also rich with history and landmarks. It is home to three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The most impressive of them might be the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. It was built over 130 years ago and is still used as a rail station today. British architect Frederick William Stevens used Italian Gothic style to design this massive structure. The completion of the building commemorated the 50th year of rule of Queen Victoria. While you journey through the streets of Mumbai, it would be hard to ignore all the delicious street food that the city has to offer. The country known as the historic home of the spice trade will not disappoint you. Dubai is a renowned hub of luxury and opulence for the world. The city initially gained wealth from oil, but knowing that it would one day deplete this natural resource, the country made a strong pivot to a more sustainable long-term growth plan. This included attracting businesses and tourism. So far, the plan has been a stunning success. It is home to the only six-star hotel in the world, Burj Al Arab. The building's height of 1,053 feet or 321 meters is impressive, but its towering stature is overshadowed by many other facets of this modern wonder. The design was inspired by the shape of a boat sail and the land it sits on is a man-made island. VIP guests can enter in style via the dedicated helipad on top of the building. The building is home to the largest Swarovski crystal ceiling in the world. 
The interiors are covered in 19,200 square feet or 1,790 square meters of 24 karat gold leaf. The Vegas-inspired Dubai Fountain is a massive choreographed fountain system. Costing 218 million US dollars, it is composed of 50 colored projectors and 6,600 lights. Some of the water jets shoot as high as a 50-story building. It is easy to see why Dubai is a feature on many people's bucket list. Hong Kong, which means fragrant harbor in Chinese, is known by many Westerners for its multitude of skyscrapers. While they are certainly impressive, Hong Kong offers so much more than that. Tian Tan is the second largest outdoor sitting Buddha in the world. With a height of 111 feet or 34 meters, this structure is sure to impress. The statue took 12 years to build and was completed in 1993. The 268 step climb will be worth it not only to see the Buddha up close, but to enjoy the mountain views and sea views. Hong Kong's harbor was once packed with junk boats. They date back to 202 BC during the Han Dynasty. These wooden boats were used to transport trade between the cities. The Duckling is the last authentic junk boat that is still active today. Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, is a modern, vibrant city that has a lot to offer. The most significant monument is Mona's Tower, located in Merkita Square. It was erected in 1945 to celebrate independence from Dutch rule. The observation deck on top of the tower offers stunning views of the city. If you have children in tow, then you may want to visit Dunia Fantasy. It is very similar to America's Disneyland. It hosts 30 rides and has a Star Wars-themed section as well. Over the last 100 years, Jakarta's population boomed from under 150,000 to over 28 million today. This population boom was made possible by the development of the fishing industry in the city. Sunda Kalapa Port is a very popular attraction for the city, as it is home to many wooden schooners that help feed Jakarta's massive population. Jerusalem holds religious significance to many millions of people across the world. The Western Wall is a 2,000-year-old retaining wall and a popular site for pilgrimage. Over a million people per year visit the site to pray and leave notes to God. Twice a year, a rabbi removes the notes from the wall and buries them nearby. Parts of the Western Wall are underground, but they can still be viewed as there are tunnels that you can tour. Jerusalem also caters to Muslims as a historical site of significance. Many followers of Islam visit the Dome of the Rock every year. This mosque was built in 691 AD. The ornate motifs inside are said to represent paradise. Istanbul, Turkey is unique as it's the only transcontinental city in the world. It is seen as the gateway between Asia and Europe. The Grand Bazaar is the largest covered market in the world. It opened in 1431 and contains over 3,000 shops. One of Turkey's most well-known attractions is the Hagia Sophia Mosque. Originally built by Roman Emperor Justinian I in 537 AD, it initially served as a Christian church. It has both Christian and Islamic influences due to it serving as both a mosque and a cathedral at different points in history. If you're interested in viewing more historic structures, then you can venture to Romulan Castle. It was built in 1452 with the intention of protecting the Bosphorus Strait from enemies. Dombace Palace is another beautiful piece of architecture on the Bosphorus Strait. It contains 285 rooms and 44 halls. The crystal chandelier inside is the largest in the world with 750 bulbs and it weighs four and a half tons. You can take a guided tour of this building, which was once home to the last six sultans that ruled the Ottoman Empire. Like most major Chinese cities, Shanghai has a very impressive skyline that is dominated by skyscrapers. A great way to enjoy the city views is from one of the many observatories inside the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. 
The highest observatory, the space module, reaches 1148 feet or 350 meters into the sky. Traverse the city quickly in the maglev train from Pudong Airport. It's the fastest train in the world. It travels at 270 miles per hour or 431 kilometers per hour. It can transport you 19 miles or 30 kilometers in only eight minutes. Shanghai does have more to offer than just modern trains and towers. If you're craving significant Chinese historical culture, then be sure to visit Yu Yuan Garden. It's the last surviving Ming Dynasty garden in Shanghai. There are several dragon walls that separate the regions of the garden. These dragons are known to represent power and luck. Ho Chi Minh City is Vietnam's most modern city. It accounts for 20% of Vietnam's total GDP. The city's multiculturalism is on display as there are many followers of Buddhism, Confucianism, and Taoism. Remnants of French architecture can be found throughout the city. Since the French departed the country in the late 19th century, the city has built several modern buildings that put it on par with most large Asian cities. One of the most interesting attractions in the city is the Vietnam War Remnants Museum. It houses several captured U.S. military vehicles from the Vietnam War. That's going to wrap this video. Here are two videos to check out. The first one discusses the largest megachurches in the U.S., and the second one is recommended by YouTube.